So this is the hardest type of radical equation that you'll be facing in this unit. It's one where we have uh, not just one, but two radicals that we have to deal with. And not only that, it has another number floating around in it. And that negative one over here, that's very significant because what that means is I can't just, I mean, here, let me rephrase this. Imagine that negative one wasn't there. Okay, it's a zero. Then you could add one of these to both sides and you just get this simple equation right here like this. And then you square both sides and it's not too bad. But the negative one prevents you from doing that. So we're gonna have to be careful on how we handle this. First step, as always, is isolate the radical. And you just have to pick which radical you're going to isolate first. We're gonna to have to go through this in stages. I like to deal with the more complicated one first. So let's do that. Square root of 49 minus 24 delta equals, um, I'm gonna add this one to the other side, equals three radicals, six minus two delta minus one. Okay, and now uh, let's square both sides. I just wanna move this over a little bit. Okay, so we square both sides to get rid of one of the radicals. We're not gonna get rid of both of them. In fact, it's gonna, it's gonna look worse before it looks better. So just hang on. So this squared in the exponent cancels out the radical on that side. That's nice. And we get a simple 49 minus 24 delta over here on the left. The right side is more complicated because if you think about what this actually is, this is three times the radical six, two uh, delta minus one, and it's squared. Remember that squared term? It means times itself. So that's another three radical six minus two delta minus one. Okay, and that, uh, I'm just gonna skip through this a little more quickly than in the past. That's gonna be nine times six minus two delta minus six square root of six minus two delta plus one. Okay, and the left side hasn't changed. Now, if I lost you on that last step, this is essentially foiling. Okay, that's what I did there to get um, down to here. And if you need to pause the video, make sure all those terms are correct and you understand how those happened. Uh, and let's keep going here. Uh, we have 49 minus 24 delta equals what's nine times six, that's 54. Nine times two is 18. Um, plus one, I'm gonna get that over there. And let's keep this six over to that side. Six minus two delta. And what I want to do at this stage is collect everything, all of these, all of these, get everything that's not a radical sign over to one side. So I'm isolating this radical right here. That's my goal now. I want to isolate this radical. Okay, another radical sign. And we're going to keep on isolating radicals until we're, until we're done. Uh, in this case, this should be the last step. Uh, of isolating. So, what do we have? Um, well, I, I like to look at how many deltas I'm talking about here. This is negative 6 delta, right? It was negative 24 plus 18. And I've got a total of 55, right? 54 plus 1 is 55. And if I move that over to the other side, it's going to give me negative 6. So, negative 6 minus 6 delta equals negative 6 times six minus two delta. So this is a treat, right? I have negative sixes everywhere. I can just divide both sides of the equation by negative six to help isolate the radical on the right side. And this is gonna be equal to six minus two delta. And the left side is going to be equal to one plus delta. Okay, not so bad. Now we're gonna square both sides and see where that puts us. Uh, okay, like this. So. 1 plus delta squared is going to be 1 plus 2 delta plus delta squared. Remember, this is foiling. And on the other side, that square in the exponent cancels out the radical sign. So what we get is 6 minus 2 delta. And now it's a quadratic equation. All the radicals are gone. That's really great. I just want to collect all the terms together. So I'm going to rewrite this one. That's delta squared uh, plus 4 delta, right? I'm bringing this guy over. And I have a 1 minus 6 makes minus 5. Okay, so that's 
me just combining all the like terms together on one side. And now, let's see, uh, I can factor this. You can use the big X if you want, but I'm gonna blow through that a little more quickly here. This is gonna be delta plus five and delta minus one equals zero. And the two solutions are negative five and positive one. All right, so the reason I have this equation written down again here is because we're not done yet. Okay, we still have more to do. Uh, you have to check and see whether these solutions actually work. So let's start with this one. Let's say delta equals negative five. What do we get? We get the square root of 49 minus 24 times negative five. Okay, minus three times the square root of six minus two times negative five equals negative one. Is that correct? That's what we're checking. So, um, well, this is 49. See, 24 times five is 120, and they're both negative, so that's plus 120. And this is minus three times the square root of, well, negative two times negative five is positive 10. Okay, so this becomes the square root of 169 minus three times the square root of 16 equals negative one. Square root of 169 is 13. Square root of 16 is four. So here's, the, here's what this is saying. 13 minus 12 is negative one. 13 minus 12 is one. So looks like we found our first extraneous solution. So this one, where is it? We can cross out negative five. That's not gonna work. And let's move on to checking delta equals one. At least this one's a little easier. It's gonna be 49 minus 24 times one. That was one, right? Not negative one. Where am I? Yes. Okay. Um, and then it's minus three Six minus two times one equals negative one. If you're wondering where those numbers were coming from, remember, I'm just taking this equation and plugging delta equals one in for every variable. So now we just work through this and this is gonna be 49 minus 24 minus three times six minus two equals negative one. And that's gonna be the square root of 25 minus three times the square root of four equals negative one which is five minus three times two equals negative one, which is five minus six equals negative one, and that works. Hooray, so that means we have one solution. Delta equals one is our single solution to this equation.